अनि अब टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ डिफरेंट वाज एनवायरनमेंट हियर वर्सेस यूएस बिफोर और आफ्टर बनाओ अब व्हाट आई मीन बाय दैट इज अब पढ़ियो अमेरिका पढ़ने गई हो है ना और कुछ नहीं अब अमेरिका पढ़ियो उतने ही काम करियो फिर फाइगर आये हैं तो है ना व्हिच वन इनिशियली व्हेन यू वर लाइक एमआईटी में जाना है कि क्योंकि आई आल्सो वांट टू नो द एजुकेशन हाउ डिफरेंट इज द एजुकेशनल सिस्टम है ना क्योंकि मालाय पनी इट वाज वेरी डिफरेंट इलेवन टेन मा पढ़ी सह बसी इलेवन टू ऑफ आई डिड आई बी है ना इट वाज सो मच डिफरेंट द होल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ उनसे नहीं हाउ एसे शुड बी हाउ उनसे नहीं द स्कोरिंग सिस्टम इट वाज रियली गुड प्रोग्राम है ना बट इट जस्ट मेड मी फील लाइक के भैर से टेनसम गो हम गोकंदे विद्या खाल खाल मत भैर थे बट आई बी वाज मोर प्क्टिकल फर मी है फर यू कसो थे ते बेला Well, I just feel the pace was different for me, you know. Mm. Yeah, on that carry, basically it was a yearly schedule, you know. So I, I, well, like eleven mano, eleven a one mano, a two mano, you know. Mm. You have midterms, you have, like you had first term, midterms, finals, mm. you know. Mm-hmm. So like you know, kind of the pace was easy mm-hmm. in many ways, you know. Once I got there, it's like there's a semester pace. Everything has to be completed in a semester, mm-hmm. you know. So things that we took a year or two years to study here had to be done in four months, you know. You know what I mean? The day the semester starts, after you know, a week, one week, that's like the sozilo, la sozilo, and this was the like you have problem sets, problem sets, problem sets, you know. Mm. So you just didn't have time to breathe this lack again. You know? oh. I wouldn't say it was hard, mm. you know. By all means, like you know, like you know, the things that we had done at A levels here, mm. you know, we were studying there like the second semester, the body rat, you know, and the fact that we had already done it made it much easier for us. You know. Then what I say, yeti yaat say ki. It was such a big race. It was like such a like hectic race once you imagine. Suru vai dekhi like every week there was problem sets. Problem sets hai na when it test theo. Test sakhe bachi final sa yalta kena. So you didn't know when the semester started and the semester completed. Okay? Timing ke wadan the was lagte na. And your challenge mane ki karte mane about the typical course load is four because I wanted to complete it faster or like do more subjects mano na na. Mane minimum 500 alin the. Kali kani 600 ban liye ke mane. Na course load And then when I heard that, then you're basically putting a lot more pressure on yourself, neither. Mm. So I just felt like the you know, semesters were very hectic, you know. Only my mere sathi alas wo dekhe the people who had gone to high school in US and they're there like my classmates and all that. For them, it was actually high school was more hectic one of them, only because they had a lot more courses, yeah. right? right? So they said like high school was a lot more hectic. For us, it was not that, you know. So that's one difference I found. No, of a once you were like there, I know. Mm. Because a lot of people are like, once you see the U.S., people dive into the whole journey um, trend of Silicon Valley, any uh, the tech world being such a huge opportunity. Mm-hmm. I know what made you feel like you had to come back. You know, there are like I think there's always a soft corner in every Nepali's heart. Maybe it's lack, sir. You know, some people can act on it. Some people it's tougher to act. You know, basically because of all the circumstances, they all have. मलाई पनी नेपाल से आएर काम करना चाहिए मन थियो है ना ना दैट्स नॉट ऑलवेज पॉसिबल ओके तर फॉर मी फाइंडिंग डी टू हकाई व्हिच एक्चुअली हैड दिस कैन आई अब अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट सेंटर इन नेपाल नी दैट वाज अ बिग स्टेप ते वाय पसे दैट आई कुड एक्चुअली मैरी माय वर्क एंड नेपाल नी त है ना सो आई जॉइन डी टू हकाई आई बेसिकली बिकेम द हेड ऑफ द सर्विसेज डिविजन एंड देन एट सम पॉइंट आई वाज मैनेजिंग नेपाल पनी सो इट गेव मी अ वेरी गुड चांस है ना टू नो नेपाल है ना आई एक्चुअली डिड नो लाइक नेपाल मा अब यतिको टैलेंट छ software is actually software of one company is possible in Nepal and the pilot happened you know mm. when i when i went to d2 haka i saw like okay 300 engineers are there you know and by all means they are very talented they are as good as the people that i worked with you know at oracle at motorola and all that they were with your confidence when you also the so then it was like it is a no brainer for me as like, okay i can marry two sides one is my company you know or like okay, my work and nepal mm. uh, and that was like the best of both worlds for me mm. Because a lot of my friends uh, have cost to calculate mindset, one they just want to go abroad, you know, mm-hmm. and stay there and just say how stay there, okay? Okay. They don't key uh, got us. They change the whole let's suppose program just for the sake of getting a uh, green card, okay? Mm-hmm. So I think that would be a bit uh, other calculate mindset. Just like that, for for me, if if I was to go out, it was it would be more for the thing that I would get. Let's suppose education mm-hmm. or lifestyle, and rather than a a goal like that. Okay, so while going out, I know what do you think should be the mindset of youths? Yeah, I lego. Okay, I'm more so one's way. I think there's nothing wrong with basically going after a green card, you know, mm. because the thing is one of the things that when you go abroad, you know, पढ़ाई तो आपने थाव मचा पढ़ने में नहीं पड़े हो. 
just as important as the exposure that you get mm. you know i think that's also very important getting getting get a, being friends with people from all over the world mm-hmm. that's one part you know working there understanding the work culture you know what mm-hmm. makes people drive knowing the history of that place you know mm-hmm. i think those are very important yeah okay? mm-hmm. for me more than the education side i think america really opened me up on many different ways it okay? made me like okay, sort the whole like about okay, confidence level mein dere mati gaya okay mero hai na and that's because like okay, i interact with people from all over the world made friends i mean some of my closest friends are from malaysia or kenya says that santa you know tyo tyo gulmil garna pani thulo kura ho nta you know and then like eh hey, now when i work at leafrock my one of my goal eh, my, one of my banana kere kaam chai sales ma okay na business development bancha ni hai i mean for somebody from nepal to actually being on the to be on the sales front in the us is actually a big step bancha ma na and the reason i could do that is because like you know I actually opened myself up to everything that America had to provide, you know. Mm-hmm. I I love American football, you know, you know. I love uh, basketball, you know. And I I love reading about American history and all that. You like you guys, it actually lets you makes it much easier for you to get a correspond, you know, talk to or even relate to people. You know, I mean one of the icebreakers could be okay like yesterday we used to say a basketball game too, you know. But if the person that I'm talking to is uh, from New York, I'd like like what's wrong with the Knicks fan, Bill Simmons, you know. Right. Uh, for example i am a boston of a kere of a boston fan boston fan and i'm a celtics fan and i like we kicked their ass when i met them so i mean i think that makes it much easier yeah. because i fundamentally believe and uh, uh. people like to work with people they like and uh, mm. not necessarily people they respect and i mean True. eventually it will be there and uh, you have True. to execute and uh, there's no uh, excuse for not executing because everybody gives you one chance if you cannot do it you're out and uh, thought that even to get that one chance is a big thing and to get that one chance you have to be likable and likable is always going to be equal to relatable hmm. you know relatable means you have to I mean have something in common with them maybe it's sports hmm. maybe it's history maybe it's uh, like love of trekking whatever that is you know hmm. so i think being that person you know, and that's hmm. why i actually sometimes say one of the more technology pore you know there is a beauty in actually doing liberal arts okay Hmm. Because liberal arts ko goal se kya hai? You have to be able to converse with everybody, with a poet, with a king, with a beggar, man. Hmm. And that's like a all-rounded education ko raha hanta. True. So I do say, people, one of the thing is like when you're in the US, education aapne thamma sa. You have to get the degrees, you have to get that certificates, and that you aapne thamma sa. That are please, please open yourself up to what America has to provide. Hmm. I mean, just get more exposure, hmm. make many friends, and because America is a very welcoming place that way, you know. Mm. and like uh, for somebody like uh, who starts from nothing america uh, provides quite a bit okay? it's very open that way you know mm-hmm. so please take all that you know and anybody who's there please work for a few years before coming back when you mention more 